And now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you cares. Representatives of the Dutch government, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, my fellow, my fellow children's Peace Prize winner, Mayra, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and fellow change makers from all over the world, I greet you a pleasant day, everyone. I thank God for everything He has done for me and for all of us. Because of him, I can stand before you on this wonderful day to represent Filipino kids in our country, the Philippines. My heart is filled with thankfulness and joy. Thank you, Kids' Rights, for this great recognition of the work that we do to champion fellow children for better health and respect for their rights. Congratulations to my fellow nominees, Amina of Ghana and Anwara of West Bengal. The work you do for the children is incredible and admirable. Please do continue your wonderful work. Dear listeners, studies show that every day, 6,000 children die from diseases associated with poor sanitation, poor hygiene, and unsafe water. Diarrhea alone kills one child every 20 seconds. To reduce the spread of the deadly bacteria, people need an understanding of the steps that can make it, such as washing their hands as much as they need toilets. I grew up in a dump site where nothing's clean. My family picks garbage to sell, garbage to use, and garbage to eat. I used to drink from a pothole in the street and even from sewage canals when I was little because I did not know it was harmful to me. Brushing teeth was nothing I knew of until I was rescued from the streets. Allowing flies to feast in my open wounds and paws was just normal to me and my friends. Today, many children still suffer poor health because of lack of sanitation and they are close to danger and death. This is why I started and continue to lead street children to better help by teaching, demonstrating, and spreading basic hygiene practice. And I also teach children how to wash hands properly, brush it daily, and bathe regularly. And I believe that some of these three children we save will pay the act forward to help champion their own communities. The day I suffered the burns on my body was like my baptism of fire. It was so painful that night at the dump site, the hospital, and also the days that followed. I cried out of pain. But on the other hand, that was also the day I was rescued. And now, I have tears of joy because since then, up to this day, I know I am loved. Looking back, the fire that burned my skin and flesh is the same fire that started the flame in my soul. Flame that will warm cold hearts a flame that will shed light to the path of the lost and a flame that will spark hope, lighting an entire 
sea of darkness and desperation. Mr. Harnin, the father I look up to, taught me these principles and keeps on reminding me daily by his own life's example. Now, I stand before you as an advocate of better health for street kids and as a herald of children's rights. Yes, I am young, but I have a firm purpose to help make things better for generations to come. And I believe that one is never too young to do something to help meet a need. The simple ways of sharing a meal, a toy, a pair of slippers, or a smile will bring joy. To plant a fruit tree, vegetables, sharing your simple knowledge of hand washing and brushing of teeth will lead a street child to better health. These are the simple acts of change that me and my team at Championing Community Children do to change hearts and the world. My message to all children here and around the globe is our health is our wealth. Being healthy will enable you to play, to think clearly, to get up and go to school and love the people around you in so many ways. Brush your teeth three times a day. Wash your hands before and after eating and take a good bath daily. And to everyone in this hall and to the rest of the world, please remember that every day, 6,000 children die from diseases associated with poor sanitation, poor hygiene, and we can do something about it. Please join me in helping street children achieve better health and better lives. Let us join our properly washed hands and share our hearts to the homeless and the hopeless. Have a healthy life, everyone. Thank you for paying attention. Mabuhay. Ladies and gentlemen, Kes.